Tell me what's going on. Cleaning. Cleaning. Shiz. It's going in. Do not. Possibly. Alright, here's the motor going in. This valve cover. Don't worry about that. The old one. Five speed. Okay, they're keeping that one. Five speed trans from a 280 ZX. 200 SX. 200 SX. Five speed. They painted the bay black. Um, disregard the wiring, it's not loomed. But yeah, it's going in. After they. Did, so you got the stud out and everything? Yeah, stud out and we tapped it. Did you go get a bigger. I had the tap. Stud? No, I'm just gonna use a bolt. They use a bolt on the outside too. Oh. So That's not bad then. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, she's clean. They had to fix. I mean, they can't even see that. They had to fix those uh, stud that broke off in there, or a bolt, I guess. When they went up to Idaho or in Utah, they drove six hours to get this crusty Yale 28 and a crusty? and a split in half split in half five speed. You can't tell me this is clean. Oh, it's a mini knife. <laughs> Alright, as you can see behind me, there's two hobos working on a Datsun. This bad bam jamma is going in the car today. I'm trying to get the exhaust out of the way right now. Here, just give me the end. I don't know, but it just ever dropped fast and I locked it up. That's Brock. Oh my god. That would be that was not me. I was holding it smooth and then it goes. <laughs> Bro, it's got it's got a limit. <laughs> That's alright. We're good. Just Nothing's happening over here. I gotta give them the updated view of what's going on. Can they see that? No. Look at, All right. that, look at that shiz. Oh. They can see that for sure. Is that a yeah? Yeah, you're good. Oh. <laughs>
drop her down and push it forward with my hand. Okay. Bring it down first. It's okay, bring it down. Oh my god! I thought. <laughs> Bro, what the heck? I literally touch it barely. That's literally what happened. I left it out. At least I was not part of a drop this time. Dude, I literally bro, told literally, you. You I, literally look at it and goes, "Wham!" No, I literally went like this, bro. Barely touched it and it went, "Wham!" <laughs> Fuck, that scared the shiz out of me. You're good. It's exhausting, isn't it? All right, so what's the deal? So the trans that we put in doesn't fit, and it's not a workable trans. So what? It works great. Doesn't fit. The whole trans is sitting clocked this way. 25 degrees, and there's no way to fix okay, it. You gotta lower that a little. You can't make a custom plate. Be, there's no, we the, about it all. the tunnel, it's the shifter is in the side of the tunnel that way. Cause that, that's what I said, we could just make a custom mount. Could you swap mounts? No. You and McLean have the same effing thought process, it's insane. Could you flop the no, motor? No, I said let's get two small mounts and make them sort of straight up instead of just clock that way, but. Liar. So we're back to four speed? Yeah, we're back to four speed line. Until further notice? Basically. Well, until we get that five speed fixed. Ah! Yeah, they went in, I think I already showed you guys. I picked up this old five speed. Can I jack up on this? Are we going? Need some TLC, no, but. I don't know if it's tight. Let's go! Boom. Please don't. I don't want to deal with something. Alright, back to. Back to. Okay, yes. That side. Actually, I'll just update you when something amazing happens because it's just gonna be the same thing over and over. Drop it we'll way. update you. You have the talking stick, then don't talk. <laughs> Shut up. L series is going back is in. It? It's probably, I think, 11 30. Shut your mouth. Yeah. It's 11 30. 11 30 at night. L series, we had to put the L or the four speed back on because this, Cause you can, if you can notice here, there's kind of like, this thing's not lined up directly with the way the L series sit. However, the other transmission was leaning with Watch. the L-Series, the five-speed. So in order to fit a five-speed uh, 200SX trans... Yeah, you gotta get a new bell housing. You gotta get this bell housing from the original transmission and put on that. Because this thing leans straight and doesn't have this extra little, what you might call it. Bell housing, that's where all the gears are at, so you have to... You have to completely disassemble oh, the trans. Oh yeah, that is true. This engine has actually been dropped inside the car how many times now? Four times. This, um, this the Power Torque 3000 likes to drop. I think we're gonna call the repair warranty hotline because I twisted the tiny little thing to make it so it drops slowly, and it slammed the ground and bent the bottom <laughs> of that transmission about three or four times. Nah. I'll give you guys a little flat sneak ball. peek. You can see how that's but kind of the, flat. The, it's not supposed to be flat. Bit, it's it. supposed to be round. So, that's as much travel as you can get out of it. Okay, that's good. All right, let's stick her in. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> that was another language, bro. <laughs> 11.30 rolls around and everyone starts getting delirious. Uh, Before it goes in, I'll just show you. That's a frame rust spot. That's a frame rust spot. Hey, was. Was. We, we. I say we, I grinded some metal. Dude, you did a shizzy job too. No, I didn't. You didn't like, grind you the beat all the way down and you can literally see exactly where it's at. Did you guys have to paint it and then grind it and then yes. paint it again? No, well we didn't I grind it, we just left it. We were like, it's we good. We left it and said, boo, we don't care.
back in for an update. It's been like an hour and a half. It's now 1.30. I think the last time we checked in, it was midnight, 11.58. Pretty much the entire thing's together. We're just buttoning up stuff. Coil wires need to go on. Uh, we need to tighten down the valve cover, put oil in it, just make sure all of our connections are connected correctly. And then we should be good for the first fire up. Yeah. All right, it's now currently 2.09 in the morning. We just finished buttoning up most things on it. Um, we don't know if she'll fire or turn over, but oil's in it. Turn the key. Look at the fuel filter. Tell me if we're going. Okay. I have no power. Is it ground? Connect the battery terminals good enough or something. Probably. Is that or like? Or something. No, we're not in backwards. Plus. Bro. Bro, what? Hmm. I don't know. You have to trace my my wiring. Oh out. wait, the alternator is hooked up. The plug. We got one more, you guys. Oh, fuck. Okay, we'll come back when we update you with this. All right, it's the next day. It's now 10 in the morning. We went to bed at like 3, basically. Um, Brock figured out what the problem was, I think. What did you say, Brock? We grounded the... Yeah, so we spray-painted one of the wires down here that was supposed to go in the alternator black on accident when it was red. It's a and hot it, one. It was the hot wire, and we were grounding it out, so... So it was oh, yeah. pulling all the power, I guess. And now we're just gonna run to the store, grab a new fuel filter that doesn't leak. We're using a freaking oh, Weed Whacker right. filter right now. <laughs> and then maybe some more coolant, and then we can come back and crank her over, get oil pressure built up, and then see if she runs. I don't know. There's just a lot of uncertainty with all the yeah, putting kind of together. Kind of scared. <laughs> Did you get the shifter put back in? Shift knob. Someone, Clint, you want to do this? Your shift knob. My firing order might not be correct. What was that? What was that, bro? Hey, you're something on the trans, like your reverse switch or something just arced out. What do you mean? I just saw a spark on the trans tunnel because when you like your reverse switch just arced out. A reverse switch arced out. The, the orange wires. Okay, why is even... All right, the foreman's over here watching the boys work. How about you hold your breath for the rest of your life? Okay? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. So it's been like an hour since we tried turning it over and whatnot. We had the oil pump gear 180 out. So we spent like past half hour, 45 minutes working on that. Just buttoning shiz up. It should be good to crank over now though. It's in right. gear and the and e-brake's on, so... I'll just send it through and in gear and I'll start right up and just send it through. <laughs> I don't want that to You ready? Um, it's in gear. Timing. Timing. That's it, bro. Did you tighten that bolt down all the way or is it still loose? Okay. Peeing out of this gasket. The Thermostat gasket. Just peed its way out. The, the gasket. Oh, really? Uh -huh. All over the side of the block. <laughs> All right. 
new thermostat housing off of the L24 is in. It's got a nice gasket. They chopped the hose a little bit so it's not kinked. Now we can fire it up. Ready? What is that? What are you doing with that for? You can fill it up as it's running through the. Okay. Okay. I think it was the timing might need to be adjusted just a smidge. Okay. Keep shooting my hand. Oh, so close. I was working on it. Hey, it's not gonna fix that. It will. That's it the won't. Reason that, That's the reason why it's backfired. You can let it start on where it was, but adjust it when it starts running. They're not. They're full of So it's after, it was backfiring and then after fires. I don't know, try to start it up again. Okay, so we, we figured it out. I put wires on wrong. <laughs> on, on number what? Two and three? Two and three, yeah, just reversed them. So it was it was like it was off. backfiring, popping, going. That makes a lot of sense on why that was like that. So I told you, I said check the wires. I thought you meant check the wires on this, and I was like, it's no, all I good. Said, but Let's... then I thought about it, I was like, wait, the wires have to be right. I thought yeah. it was plain and simple for Gene on that. They well, were this. I thought it was I plain mean, and simple too. They were all lined up. Anymore. I put them in the same order. Well, B, I had it one, two, three, four, five, six, and you went. <laughs> Swap them bees. Whatever. <laughs> Did you fix the sheathing? The what? The sheathing? Can I, I fart it up? Start? Fart it up. Can I fart it up? <laughs> fart I it sided, up. guys. Can I fart it up? Start. What's broken? I put this heat shrink on it so it doesn't fray. And it's, but it's catching it. So it's getting sheet, stuck. Heat, heat sheathing's gonna go. Yeah, because it went. Uh, and I was like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Devil Z, pissed. <laughs> he just backs out, kicks Jane out, and gasses it off without us. <laughs> We're like, oh, Star Trek. Harry Potter style? Yeah, Harry Potter style. Yeah, yeah, shooting's off. It shouldn't, shouldn't lock up anymore. Let me grab the old That other spring ain't strong enough. The You gotta adjust idle. I we will, yeah, we bro. Right but now. you see that shit? Dude, right that was the smoothest I've ever seen this motor run ever. <laughs> My son, he's alive. Trent is healthier than ever. No, literally, watch that motor when we start it, cause it just goes. It literally through. just sent. Like you could probably balance like a cup of water. Well, it probably when you turn the idle down, it's probably gonna get a little rougher, but that's pretty good. So if you want, you can. Turn it's the these idle ones, down. right? No, it's these two. Thank you. Match them. Which ones? That one and that one. The two flatheads. I don't know what the effort. Okay. It's just a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's tightened up. So timing's set. Okay, yeah, it's like middle. Okay. Between the two lines. That's cold. No, so, even before it got like 60. Yeah, All this effort's come to 
to this. The vape machine. And it's natural habitat. Hurt your ears, bro. That's completely hurt my ears. Basically. Cleaned her up a little bit. They're just, they changed the uh, idle sucking in, I don't know what you call it, the vacuum, I guess, on idle for each car, adjusted them accordingly. They're gonna go take it for its first drive to see if it'll rev out all the way like it's supposed to. They said they timed it, and it's good, but. It still breaks up on top, it sounds like, so I don't think they did fix it. I think it's a fuel issue, not an air issue, though. So we'll see. 